Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to week four, I think. Week four of Sketchy Sundays. Yeah, I'm still gonna continue this series. Uh, I actually quite like making these weekly updates. I changed the camera angle a little bit. Before it was a little bit, you know, like top focused, you know, so I brought the thing down a bit. I was also messing around with the settings on my webcam because there was quite a lot of delay on the on like kind of the footage. I synced it up with the audio, but it was always kind of a mess. Plus you get to see my hand movements a little bit more because, you know, gesturing is kind of part of conversation. Welcome to episode four of Sketchy Sundays. This is going to be a good one, this episode, I think, because I actually have some topics to talk about, gaming related topics. So yeah, and mainly channel related stuff as well. So yeah, this week, just in terms of the channel, I was streaming. I actually started a brand new game on Wednesday. It was Remnant from the Ashes, which is, of course, the brand new Souls-like shooter that came out. Um, again, brand new game. So far, I'm really liking it. I'm like an hour and 45 minutes in. Hey, no complaints so far. Uh, people generally seem to like the game. I've seen a few negative reactions, but I think most people are generally happy with it. I'm playing it solo, which apparently the game is a lot easier on solo. Uh, in co-op, the game just throws a shit ton of enemies at you. So yeah, I'm gonna continue. Listen, I'm enjoying the game enough that what I think I'm gonna do is alternate between this and uh, what you call it, uh, the crossbow challenge run, which is also going well, but you know, just you know, to keep it mixed up and to keep it fun as well. So that means that the streaming schedule for next week is gonna be, well, the days are gonna be Tuesday and Thursday. And on Tuesday, we're gonna kick it off with the second part of Remnant from the Ashes. The game is not that long. I've heard people say that the game takes about realistically like 11 hours. So, you know, like a couple of streams and I should be able to clear it. Uh, whereas of course, Dark Souls 3 is gonna be a lot longer. So yeah, streaming schedule again for next week, Tuesday Remnant, uh, Thursday is going to be Dark Souls 3, Saturday I'll see, I guess it'll depend on what I'm feeling, whether I'm feeling Remnant or Dark Souls 3, according to the schedule it should be Remnant, but who knows, we'll see, we'll see, if you guys are still interested in Remnant, of course, I think people generally had a positive reaction to the game, so no reason not to uh, continue. In terms of other gaming related news, the big one that I really wanted to talk about this week was Mortal Kombat 11, the brand new kind of character pack or like the full trailer for this combat pack one was released. So who are the characters? Well, of course, we already had Nightwolf and we already had uh, Shang Tsung. I had to think there for a second. We're also going to get Sindel. We are going to get Joker. It's fucking Joker. The T-800, so the Terminator, Spawn, and... Fuck, who else? Who? It's like, yeah, it's Nightwolf, Sindel, Spawn, Terminator, and Joker, apparently. Yeah, that, those are the ones. Yeah, yeah, those are the ones. Kind of a weird mix of characters. But hey, you know, NRS has always been about guest characters. Uh, going back to MK9, where they first had Kratos and Freddy. There's a, tra there's a tradition there, you know. Uh, so they're continuing that. MKX, of course, had uh, Leatherface and Jason Voorhees. And this game continues it with the weird character choices. I mean, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Sindel, I'm kind of interested in. I know that she was sort of a fan favorite in Mortal Kombat 9. A lot of people liked her. Uh, and they wanted to see her back, so she's back. Even though... Right now, I'm seeing the least amount of interest in her. She should be an okay character. We also got a T-800, uh, the Terminator. He looks fucking good. Uh, they actually got Arnold. The only thing that's kind of shitty, and this is the thing that kind of makes me worried, is that they confirmed that it will not be voiced by Arnold. So, I don't know. Are they going to get like some cheap imitator? Because that's... Well, it has a chance to sound shitty. You know, these cheap imitators, you had a couple of these like older voice actors for the Joker, you know, that really tried to like ape Mark Hamill and it just didn't work out. So hopefully they are going to either keep him silent like Jason or they're going to get someone who is like uh, at least can do a good Arnie impression instead of, you know, 
getting someone like Ronda Rousey. Who knows? I guess we'll find out in October because that's when he is releasing. Uh, the order of the characters releasing is kind of weird as well. I think so. The T eight hundred is first, and then I think it's Sindel. And then it's the Joker, and this is the one I gotta talk about. The Joker has to be the weirdest guest choice ever. I don't think anyone in the world was asking for Joker to be put into Mortal Kombat. I, nobody particularly liked him in Injustice either. In Injustice 2, I mean. Injustice, he had his fans, but Injustice 2, Joker was horrible. He looked shitty, the voice actor was terrible. Uh, he showed up for like two fights in the story, not even that, like one fight in the story. He had like no general purpose. I feel like they just shoehorned him, him in because he is the Joker, so you gotta have him. And now they fucking shoehorned him into... I can't say shoehorned for some reason. They shoehorned him into Mortal Kombat 11 as well. Unbelievable. And he looks super shitty. He looks like, I don't know, people were like making memes about it. He looks like a bad cosplayer. Seriously, like the Joker for MK11 looks absolutely terrible. He looks about 19, like with the dyed hair and the makeup. Like at least make him look gritty or something. Hopefully he's going to have a lot of skin options, but right now I'm not impressed. I guess the only thing that's going to be cool is we'll get to see the Joker like properly kill and all that. And realistically, when you think about it, there's not many DC characters on the hero side that you could include because you know nobody kills really but there are so many villains to choose from people are saying Ra's al Ghul and you know I've been wanting Ra's al Ghul in Injustice or something for ages I was really hoping he would make it into Injustice 2 man he would be so perfect for Mortal Kombat 11 I mean he's a villain he actually has like sort of he has sort of superpowers so he's like strong but not OP he has like martial arts knowledge. He, I feel like he would even fit into like the general feel of the game. Why couldn't we just get Raish? Uh, I don't know. I guess I know he's less popular, obviously, than the Joker, but still. And of course, they tease like there was no tease for the Joker in the like teaser for Combat Pack One. They actually played the chainsaw sound, which when they when people heard that, everybody immediately thought of Ash Williams from Evil Dead, and then it's fucking Joker. Uh, but who knows, who knows, maybe the gameplay is going to be good. Uh, Injustice 2 Joker actually had quite cool gameplay, I would say, kind of like a trap character, so if they keep that, that could be okay. And of course, the final character is going to be Spawn, and Spawn looks really awesome, even though I know he's a hype character, but I'm kind of indifferent to Spawn. Uh, he he should be cool, he should be cool. Uh, he was in Tekken as well, uh, one of the, no, Soul Calibur, right? Yeah, he was in Soul Calibur, I think. So yeah, that that one should be cool. The only thing that's shitty about Spawn is that he's coming out in, I think, next March, which is ages away. The only thing that's kind of reassuring about that is that NRS are actually keeping their promise of supporting Mortal Kombat 11 for a long time. Listen, the thing about NRS games is always you get like one or two combat packs. Combat pack one, the characters get rushed out and then you wait for like a year, there's a second one, and then the game just ends. So hopefully with the kind of more stagnated releases, uh, that means they will actually support this game long term, because I think this game has a lot of potential, even though currently the current meta I'm not having too much fun with, that can always change. Maybe one of these guest characters will like really click with me. I think that's my biggest problem right now with Mortal Kombat 11 so far, like since launch, I have not been able to like really find the main and connect with one character, kind of like how I did with Shinnok in MKX. And that makes it real hard. That makes it real hard, you know. So I'm really hoping one of these guests will do it. I'm definitely going to check out the Terminator. I missed, unfortunately, the Nightwolf release because I was abroad. And then like a week later, I didn't kind of want to get into it. I don't like his gameplay that much anyways, but T-800, I got my hopes up. I should just call it the Terminator. He's called Terminator. Yeah, that's about it. This has been Sketchy Sundays number four, which this was the Mortal Kombat 11 episode. Yeah, I mean, I'm still enjoying this series. I know it doesn't get the best views, but who gives a shit? Uh, I don't really care about all that. You guys seem to like the series, so I'll keep going. I'll keep going for sure. Unless, the only thing I've been thinking about is, especially last week, for example, it's kind of a slow news week, 
So if there are like really, if I have nothing to talk about, I will skip a week. So I didn't like plan this to be a weekly episode necessarily. I just planned this to be kind of my regular update. So yeah, that's going to end it here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and peace out. See you.